Good morning, everybody. I am so tired this morning. I'm setting everything up right now. I'm turning everything on. It's already about 7.30, and I'm just so exhausted. I couldn't sleep last night. I was designing super late last night because I didn't want to do it now because I have a lot of work to do. I've got five orders that need to go out today, and I have four others that I need to work on. They don't have to go out today, but they do have to go out before midweek. I knew I had a lot of work to do today. I just, I wanted to, hold on, I need coffee. I wanted to get ahead of the game by designing last night, but that in turn made me so tired this morning because I was up till about 2.30 maybe. This is the first time I'm talking for the day, so my voice is probably gonna sound very off but it's just it's real i'm about to put some music on i've got all my orders printed i have four out of five shipping labels ready because i did that yesterday only reason i had the shipping labels printed before actually doing the work is because of my books like i need i needed to close out the month so i had to get my what is it called I had to get my earnings from Etsy. And in order to do that, I had to create the shipping labels. That's the only reason why I printed the labels. I'm very superstitious. I'm I'm just that type of person. I feel like if I print out the shipping label before actually completing the order, then I'm just jinxing myself, but that's just me. I never print a shipping label until I completely finish packaging up, like with a thank you note and everything. Just because you never know. But then again, that's just me. To be quite honest, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I, I opened my browser. I didn't even need to go on my browser. It was silhouette that I needed to open up. But that's usually what happens. When I'm as tired as I am this morning, I usually take a while to get myself situated and to let the coffee kick in. I'll be very confused for a little bit. Oh man, I hate when this happens. Oh, it showed up. Okay. I have one Silhouette Studio downloaded on my desktop and one on my laptop. It makes it easy for me to design whenever, wherever, if I have my laptop. But the thing I don't like about it is that when I design on my laptop, even if I save it and sync it, nine out of 10 times, it will not sync. And so I'm literally here just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then I have to bring on my laptop and open up my Silhouette Studio, try to save it again, try to sync it again, and just do that constantly until it finally finally decides to sink. This morning though, it synced. The universe knows how tired I am today, which is why it decided, you know what, let's give her a good morning. All right, I have to make a couple of tie-dye cake toppers, which are my favorite by the way. Like I love these tie-dye cake toppers. So guys, keep ordering them so I can keep making them. I also need to get like some type of back support. So that's my office chair that I got from Ikea. Now I'm sitting on an office chair that my husband brought from work. I don't know how it's gonna be with my back. I have back issues. Like my back problems are just insane. I'm sitting a lot when I'm working. It makes my, my back hurt even more. I was this close to getting a gamer chair, but the gamer chairs are really, really expensive. My brother actually recommended a chair, but I think it was about it was either a thousand or two thousand dollars and that's just way too much for a chair for me personally i have to try to find like a back support or something something that i can attach to, to this chair i try to stand up as much as i can because if i don't then later on i'll feel it like I'll, I'll definitely feel it so right now i'm designing a little bit i'll show you these cake toppers um they're easier to design just because i already know the layout so even though i have to do a custom one each and every single time it's okay because all i have to input is really the name and then i pretty much know how everything goes the only time that i'll design from scratch is every time that i have something new obviously but for the most part things like this where it's already a design i just have to enter a personalization then I don't mind uh, designing on my desktop because, you know, it's not going to take too long. The cards are also simple. There's not a lot of work to them. The last order that I have, um, I already designed last night. That's the one that I had to design from scratch. That's what I'm working with today. I have a lot of cake toppers, a onesie, and what was the third one? Oh, a greeting card. My battery's running low, so 
so I'm gonna put it to charge and then I'll pick up the camera again. Universe is definitely looking out for me today. I had all my paper laid out yesterday. I needed silver glitter. I'm like, okay, I have enough paper just in case I make any mistakes, whatever. This sucks. It kind of ruined my new mat. It like left a whole bunch of stickies there and I just don't have the patience to deal with that right now. So this was a fail. Thankfully, thankfully, I found actual glitter paper, like the cardstock one, under a whole bunch of other paper. So I thought I was going to have to run out to Michael's to go get some silver glitter cardstock, but thankfully, thankfully, I had some. Also, something I didn't realize was that Michael's sent me the wrong foil paper. They were supposed to send me just gold foil. They ended up sending me like their new version which is not the same but thankfully I had two more which I didn't know I had I just solely went based off of the fact that I purchased more I have a pile over here of returns for Michaels because this foil cardstock or no I'm lying it's not even foil cardstock this foil paper from Michaels sucks it's so flimsy with the package you think that it's cardstock but it's not it's just because it has a backing on it that's how it's going so far i have started piles of the things that i have made so far it's going good it's just going really really slow and i think it's just me i'm on just a slow mode today so i think that's why it's going really really slow gotta stay hydrated This is the reason why I separate my blades. I have one just for glitter and then the other one is for everything non-glitter. But this is why. You see all that glitter stuck in there? And I already took some out. You can see it all over my hands. But that's exactly why I separate them. And I also separate the mats as well. Oh my gosh. So the mat I labeled glitter. And you can see there's a whole bunch of glitter on there. And then the sheet that goes on top of it. I also labeled glitter so that way you know I can keep it separate because we all know glitter gets everywhere I love glitter but why why must you get everywhere I was really close to ordering breakfast but I decided you know what let me just make breakfast real quick and then I'll get back to work my daughter actually made me this shirt I want to add a little something here so before I finish my orders I just I want to add that so that way it could show on the video I'm thinking of doing Mother Hustler. Yeah, I like that one. the mother hustler on it and i love it i love it so much that i asked my daughter to make me another one did i pay you for this jen Monday? did i pay you for this no uh oh okay i'll pay you after when you finish the other one so i asked her to make me another one i have another idea for something that i've been wanting for a while now i also made my husband one so the next one that i make is going to be a matching one with my husband this time i think she's gonna do the crumple Yes, it's a crumble, crumble. technique. Yeah. Crumble. I said crumple. Crumble technique. I'm gonna continue to work. I'm trying to find something to watch. I just I can't find a good video. I messed up the glitter already. See here, the mat isn't sticky enough. I have to buy this glue that I usually use for my mats, get them sticky again. I think I have a video on that. If I find the video, I'll leave it linked below. It's a super easy hack, and all you need is zig glue. 
Hopefully that cuts fine. My son just served us a snack. It's a tres leches cake that my daughter made yesterday. She made it pink with um, baby blue whipped cream or whipping cream or whatever it's called. Cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> this is the perfect treat right now. The only thing is now I have to go inside and wash my hands. Thank you baby girl for making us tres leches. It's so good. everywhere I have not been showing you guys everything that I've been doing it's also a little stressful because I am trying to hustle and get these things ready it's just a lot of prep that I have to do with the camera in order for you guys to see what I'm doing but I promise you I am working I am hustling I just finished this onesie this is my shopping onesie like my most popular one I'm gonna package this one up in a little bit I am currently making 48 no not 48 24 cupcake toppers, 18 name cutouts, 18 cross cutouts, 2 cake toppers. I also just made a sale for a tumbler, but I'm not going to worry about that today because it literally they just purchased it. So if I can do it today, I will. I'm not going to stress myself out. It's everything else that I had to do. And then my sister has a whole list of things that she ordered for me so i have to work on that but that's gonna be later on tonight or tomorrow early in the morning so that like i'm not stressing about that either because i have to do a lot of prep for that one i ran out of glitter paper so i have to run to michael's to go get glitter paper which is why i'm trying to hustle finish up the cake toppers and the onesie so that way i can run to the post office before i go to michael's i'll come back and i'll finish the glitter stuff i think i'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee because this i don't know this something off about today that i'm just kind of like taking my time with things and it could be that i barely slept last night should have taken my vitamins today i didn't take my vitamins today so i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a cup of coffee and then take vitamins right now i need to organize myself because i realized that i'm doing too much at once and i'm not finishing one thing i'm just going to the next and then not finishing that going to the next so i'm a little bit disorganized right now and that's another thing that's kind of like not getting me motivated because i feel like I'm not accomplishing anything, but I really am. to show the stuff before i package them away but you know it's been it's been a rough day so i have four packages here and i have a fifth one that i'm going to continue once i come back from michael's and then i have this list of things that i also need to take care of as well these top three oh shoot i forgot something else as well Alright, so I made it to Michael's. We're gonna go inside and hopefully they don't give me an issue about returning the stuff without a receipt. I got a lot accomplished. I went to the post office to drop off those packages. You saw that I went to Michael's. I picked up the glitter paper that I needed to finish this order. I got some gold foil cardstock, which look how it comes. It's like all bent up. Every single piece was like this. And I think it's a quality control issue. Just, um, it's a packaging issue. So I guess they put it so tight that it bends so i'm taking it out now so that way i can try to straighten them up myself oh and then i went to dollar tree i was gonna make a separate video for this but i'm like you know what it's it, like there's not that many 
that's it for the the haul part of this video I gotta work on the rest of the order i didn't finish my video last night i ended up not finishing the last order just because i wasn't feeling good mentally so i just took the rest of the night off and i figured i can do it today it'll be shipped out today it's not gonna be an issue everything's gonna be okay i left a mess here yesterday complete mess oh And um, I don't like to do that because then the next day when I come in, it's it just takes time from me actually getting any work done. But it's okay. We're just going to kind of work around it. I also have these two shirts that my daughter made yesterday. I'm going to cut up some like little HTV pieces. Something that we realized is look at the difference between the Gildan and the Bella. I don't know if you can see it on camera. This one is more white. And then this one is more of like a pink peach kind of tone. So this is the Gildan one and this is the Bella canvas. I love how the Gildan one came out. This is the one for my husband. I love this one. I mean, I love this one too, but just the color. It just, it looks so nice. I'm tired again. I wake up super early in the morning. My sister added a whole bunch of other things to her order. Actually, not a whole bunch. She added two more things to her order, so I have to work on that as well. And then I did get more Etsy orders in. But today, I'm going to organize myself really well. And by that, I mean one order at a time. The first thing I'm focusing on right now is what I didn't finish yesterday. I'm going to make sure to finish that first, complete that, put that to the side, and then I'll work on the next thing. Because yesterday, I don't know what I was doing yesterday. I, pff, my mind yesterday was on, I have no idea, but today we're going to work smarter. Much smarter. Right now, I'm working with some very, very thin pieces. And I just wanted to show you the glue that I use. It's the Barely Art Craft Glue. I've been seeing this glue on my Instagram for such a long time. And I kept saying, I want to try it, I want to try it, because... Of the fine tip it's like really really fine but for some reason i never bit the bullet i finally decided to buy it and it is amazing it is game changer like i love it so much that i applied for the the design team i submitted it way too late i didn't even know they had that i just went on the website to buy the glue and then i saw the link so i submitted an application but literally like the next day they announced the the design team people leave it to me to add a whole bunch more into my schedule into my life but that's just that's how i am you know what now that we're on the topic of design teams and this is mostly like for my crafters that have been crafting for a very long time i'm talking about not just during the pandemic do you guys remember when like scrapbooking and crafting companies would um do like design team like when it was like a big thing back then i would sign up for each and every single one of them apply i mean not sign up my camera rudely cut me off but um so yeah i was saying every single one that came out i applied to it and i never got picked but back then it was mostly about who had the most followers it wasn't just about your work and it's something that I noticed because every single person that ever made the design team was someone that had a big following. And I used to get so mad. Like I was I was just super petty about all that. I'm talking about like 2011, maybe like 2012 around that time. There were shops that came out, just crafters that opened up Etsy shops or just shops in general selling things that we used. Things like trim pearl trim i was like huge back then remember shabby chic days i'm talking about shabby chic days shops that weren't that big I remember always applying like to the smaller shops especially and i would never get picked because they would pick once again people with a whole bunch of subscribers and a whole bunch of instagram followers and i would get so discouraged but i feel like nowadays it's different like i feel like now it's not only about how many followers you have because obviously that does influence whether you get picked or not because obviously they want to reach as many people as possible so that their products can reach as many people as possible. But I feel like nowadays it's not like that anymore. It's not where it's only about your following. Like you can have a small following and still get picked. So that's why now I'm starting to, you know, 
if I see a company that I really, really, really like, then I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to apply because I don't have that like mentality that, oh my gosh, they're not going to pick me because I don't have a huge following. Oh no, I used the wrong glue for this one. Darn it. But yeah, that was like my little, my little rant. My little talk to you while I work. And I forgot that I bought this at Walmart. It's Cricut Premium Vinyl. It's permanent glossy. And it was on clearance for a dollar. So if you use vinyl, go to Walmart. Check out the clearance section or the Cricut section. Price check the vinyl because it didn't have a price on it. It was just in a bucket. I didn't even know it was on clearance until I scanned for the price and it came up as a dollar but yeah check out your walmart one dollar so far i finished this cake topper these cutouts and then these cupcake toppers i also cut these out to get ready for cupcake toppers but i need other pieces to go with this it's still the same day i just changed my shirt i ran out of ink in the middle of printing 30 sheets of paper i thought i had both color and black but I only had a color. These are oopsies, but I'm still going to send them because they can be used. When I have stuff like that where it's not perfect, it's a, like a little imperfection, but they can still be used, I send it with the order. And then I write a little note of what happened. But I'd rather do that than just throw it in the trash because chances are it will be used. This is everything that I've gotten done so far. This thing is one package. I got everything packaged up. I have to package this up package that up i've gotten a whole bunch of things crossed off my list which is good and then you see that blue ink there those are all the things that i cannot complete right now because i have to go to staples to go get some ink this is the third time i changed today and yes i'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday my husband just asked me if this is my work uniform and i'm like no but anyway um i'm gonna head out because i have two more packages to ship out it's about to be seven and the post office that we're going to closes at seven so it's perfect I got the ink from Staples. I got three more things checked off my list. I think that's it. Is that all I wanted to update on? I think so, yes. I did a lot today. I'm very proud of what I got accomplished between yesterday and today. Tomorrow, I think I will be caught up with everything. I don't know if I'm going to end the video here or if I'm going to continue. No, I'm going to continue just so it could be like a couple days, work with me, office vlog type of situation. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I don't feel as tired. I slept in today, so I think I woke up around 8, maybe 8.30. That just felt so nice to be able to sleep in and to get more sleep because that's what I was missing. I have two more things to complete today. I'll be all cut up, caught up. I, I may be well rested, but I apparently cannot speak. I have two more things to complete today and then i will be caught up once i finish those two things i'm gonna package them up so that i can send out the whole package i also need to package up this this cup right here let me look at my list real quick oh yeah and then everything else thankfully i sent yesterday that's what i'm gonna work on right now i'm going to um finish the two items i'll show you what i completed i don't know if i showed this yesterday but this is what i've done for the package so i showed you this I did some label stickers, some logo stickers, some allergen stickers, cake care cards. My sister actually purchased this on Etsy. It was a file that she purchased. She edited it and then sent it to me and I just cut them up for her. And then these over here are just a little package of oopsies. So just things that, you know, didn't cut out perfectly, but she can still use. These are small. This one came out too big. This one didn't cut, the silhouette didn't cut it. So I just cut it with my trimmer. And it's just a pain because she's going to have to take it out, you know, not from a sheet, but from just the backing. And then some logos that I accidentally cut off a little bit. So I just sent her all this because she can still use it. Look at my fingers. So I showed in a haul this pen that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Well, this great pen, although it writes beautifully and it dries really fast, it burst inside my little container where I kept it. See there? It just created a mess everywhere. The whole thing on the bottom was blue. Everything was blue. I kept finding blue ink on me and I had no idea where it was from. Eventually, I put two and two together and I realized that it was a pen. My biggest fear is getting this like on a onesie or a shirt or something. If you purchase these gel pens from Dollar Tree, just be careful because... I don't know what the heck happened, but it just burst. I finished up the dinosaurs, so this is what they look like. These are some of them. 
I still have the rest over here. I'm waiting for the liquid pearls to dry. This is what I used. I like this so much better than the Nouveau drops. And they're drying pretty quickly because I can touch them already and they're hard. But I'm just waiting for it to fully dry so that way they don't get messed up when I package them up. I'm listening to old school Shakira. But my daughter came in and served me some coffee. I did not want to get up out of my seat to go make coffee. But I did want coffee and she just surprised me. So thank you baby, I love you. Since I'm sending my sister a package, I decided to make her a card just because. And while I was at it, I also made my husband a card just because. My sister and my husband are my two absolutely favorite people as far as adult people. <laughs> They're my two favorite adults in the whole wide world. I'm so happy. I'm finally done. All I have to do is come back and clean this office, but that's not gonna be till later because I'll show you the mess that I'm working with right now. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end if you made it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. That way I can know to make more videos like this. It's very time consuming. Especially having to set up the camera and just remembering to set up the camera. But if you guys like these types of videos, then of course I will continue to do them. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>